Hey, what's up guys? Chad here with Greenlight Shooting, and welcome to the second part in our review of the Core Essentials Gun Belt. So if you haven't seen the first part of the review, make sure to check that out. Uh, I'll probably put like a thumbnail or something right there, so click on that. Essentially, the first part just goes over, you know, what is the belt, what makes it different, and how it works. Uh, in the second part, I wanted more to know how it would hold up. So that first part, I posted about a month and a half ago. So it's been a little while, but I wanted to do that because ever since that day, I've been wearing this belt every single day, and I've been carrying. 95% of the time so I really wanted to see how the how durable it was how it would hold up if it get you know kind of wear marks or just how it was you know in, in all the different situations carrying with it so that's what this uh, review is going to be fairly short just because like I said we're all we're gonna be doing is, is showing how the belt uh, held up so before we get into that, I do want to point out I'm rocking that hot, hot snow camo GLS on the navy blue t-shirt. Uh, if you guys haven't heard, we've got some cool official GLS merchandise over at glsgear.com. You can click on uh, a little card it should pop up over here. You can uh, click on and take you over there. Uh, really cool stuff. 24 bucks for a shirt. They make awesome Christmas gifts, whatever it is. So please uh, support the brand. Check that out. Thank you so much for that. Now into the core essentials belt. So. As I said before, I have been wearing this thing every single day since that first review. I really, really wanted to just put it through the ringer. I wore it in all sorts of conditions. You know, I traveled a bunch. You know, we went to really warm locations, really cold locations, uh, and just wore it just everywhere I went. So the first thing I want to show is the durability of this thing. I, I carried with it almost every day, which meant I had a holster on it almost every single day. And you can see the uh, there's very, very little wear on this thing, if any. In fact, I guess you've got one, you kind of got a crease mark there, um, and I guess that's probably to where the the belt buckle is is locking in. But other than that, this thing looks like it's brand spanking new. So uh, an A plus in the quality and, and durability section of this of this belt. So really stoked on that part. If you guys have ever had uh, just you know like the cheap leather belts you buy at department stores or something like that, and tried to carry guns with those belts. It doesn't matter how tight you get those things, when you try and draw from your holster or whatever it is, they flex or you know, when you've got a heavy gun on it, they're gonna flex. So I, I really wanted to make sure this belt would hold its shape well uh, with, with the different holsters. So I made a couple uh, you know, slow motion clips for you guys with different guns and I did carry all these guns over that last month and a half. So I wanted to show you just kind of how the, how the belt held up uh, with these different guns. So the first clip we have here is uh, of a 1911. So I wanted a real heavy gun and I've got it on outside the belt holster, outside the pant holster. Um, and it's, uh, I mean, it's a heavy holster, very heavy gun. Uh, so yeah, check out how, how it handled here. You can see when I draw it out of this holster, it doesn't move. I mean, the, the belt is very, very rigid. It's not kind of flexing back and forth. It's not drooping from one side to the other. Um, so that was one thing I was really happy with. The draw was very clean and the belt itself held uh, held everything very tight. I didn't feel like the, the gun was kind of, you know, sagging against my side like that or anything. So the next one we had is the inside the pant holster. Now this is how I carried with the belt, you know, 90% of the time. I was carrying with the, with the Springfield XDS. Um, so not the smallest gun in the world, but obviously not the biggest either and I had it uh, just kind of behind my hip so you can see right here when I draw out of that again the belt is very very solid holds its shape very well stoked on that again no flexion in the belt the last way that I used it was uh, I only did this a couple times at the range you know I, I put my whole competition gear on I had the competition holster as well as four mags on uh, they were all fully loaded so I mean it was a lot of weight and, and a lot of times you know with my old belt and stuff like that they'll be kind of pulling and sagging against the belt so this belt did a fantastic job of holding everything in place. Uh, as you can see, all the draws are very, very clean uh, in terms of the belt moving back and forth and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, the belt holds up very well uh, in terms of drawing, in terms of holding its shape, holding guns close to your side, stuff like that. So. Uh, another A plus for it there. Now, one comment I did read with the belt, someone who who's had this gun or had this belt before, was saying that sometimes when they when they wear it, the little part on the back of the buckle here that you use to to loosen the belt will actually dig into your into your side, or your stomach, or whatever. And I will admit, I had that happen a couple times. Um, but the beauty of the belt is. You click on that little button and you can loosen it a couple notches and at that point it's no longer digging into you and the only time it was digging into me i should say is like when i was sitting in a car a lot of times i'd sit in a car and if it was like not my car and i was kind of sitting at a weird angle sometimes it would you just reach down grab that thing undo like two notches it's no longer digging into your side and then as soon as you get up you just pull it back 
hit your couple notches and you're, and you're ready to go. And uh, so I will admit that was a very cool use of the function of the belt. So yeah, that's really all I wanted to say in this review is just, I just wanted to show the durability of this thing, the fact that I've worn it for the last month and a half straight and that it's held its shape very, very well. One last thing I do want to point out is, as I said, I wore this every single day for the last month and a half, regardless of what I was wearing. Sometimes I was just wearing jeans and t-shirt. Sometimes I was wearing slacks and a, and a dress shirt and a blazer. So, uh, that's one thing I really, really liked about this belt is that it can pass for a dress, dress, a dress belt. <laughs> it's uh, you know, it's very stylish and stuff like that. Um, you can wear it with just about anything and it, it looks great. So looks department I think is really important as well and, and it does excel in there. So uh, yeah man, that's the belt. $60 for that belt. Again, make sure to use the green light promo code and get yourself 10% off this belt. Overall, my, my main takeaway with this belt is that if you're in the market for a gun belt, 100% I recommend this belt. That's an awesome belt. It's, uh, you know, price-wise, 60 bucks with that 10% off. is not killer. I mean, especially for an investment that's gonna last you, and I think that this video proved that it, uh, it should last you. I mean, this thing has no signs of wear whatsoever. So 60 bucks for a, a good investment, I think is not bad. If you're in the market, definitely go and check this thing out. If you're not in the market for a new gun belt, I don't know. Uh, you know, I don't think it's necessarily a product that's going to change your life. I'm not going to tell you to go out and pick it up if you're not in need of a belt. It's not that kind of a product. But if you do want a belt, definitely check this guy out. So that's the Core Essentials X2 Gun Belt. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you found this video useful, please share the video. Please like the video. That really helps me out. I know a lot of people, you know, always say like the video, and sometimes it comes across as just, you know, you want to brag and show how many likes you have. It's not really about that. Honestly, it helps uh, us as YouTubers out a lot. It ranks the videos a lot better. So please like the video if you did like it. Leave some comments below if you have anything to say. And, uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. Check out that 10% promo code. And if you haven't seen these other two videos, Definitely check those out. We'll see you on the next video for Green Light Shooting.